people feel it like the light has just come We must never stop the way Hello everyone, this is Claudius. Welcome back to my channel And today I'm gonna talk about Vincent van Gogh A few months ago, I have visited the van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam After that, I have changed my mind about this great artist. So here are some of my thoughts. So how did I heard of Van Gogh? Basically, I heard of his name when I was in primary school. In our visual art class in the primary school, our teacher told us about Van Gogh because in the class, we were going to draw self-portraits and Van Gogh was really famous for his portraits. When our teacher told us about Van Gogh's story, it's kind of scary because she told us this guy is kind of insane, he cut his ear off because he suffered from insanity. Uh, this is really bloody scary for a primary kid. So I thought to myself for a pretty long time, Van Gogh might have bad vibe in his painting. However, now I know that this is just my false impression. And after visiting the museum and seeing all these paintings myself in reality, I realized that these paintings are actually quite colorful, vibrant, and vivid, which gives a positive vibe. At his early age of painting, it was kind of conventional because they are all in really dark tone and people look Mm, kind of depressing, I would say, because he was drawing those poor people. He painted farmers, weavers, and lots of working class people to depict their harsh daily life. In this trip, I also learned about Van Gogh's personal life a little bit. When we look at Van Gogh's biography, his personal life was quite miserable because he basically failed in his career and he couldn't fit into the family and the society at all. For example, the girls he liked never liked him back. He dated a prostitute and he was hospitalized a few times because of STD. At the end, he couldn't meet any social expectation before he died. He first tried to pursue his career in religion as a pastor. However, he failed the exams and got dismissed. And then he attended art school. When he was attending art school, he was also kicked out because he didn't follow the conventional rules and he was kind of rebellious. But I realized like being rebellious is actually a good thing because you don't just follow the traditions but you try to be creative, you try to come up with some new ideas or inspirations that leads you to another level. However, he found art as an escape from reality. He said, art is to console those who are broken by life. He saw each rejection as a redirection. His daily life was also very tough, that he focused on painting and ignore his physical health. Van Gogh basically just eat bread and drink alcohol, like very strong alcohol, to survive. This alcohol is called absinthe. It contains 60 to 70 percent of alcohol. In one of the letters to his brother, he even mentioned that he couldn't even remember when he had last warm meal. In his life, he only spent 10 years on painting. In total, he finished 900 paintings and also other drawings and sketches. That means he finished each painting within 36 hours.
I guess part of the reason why he painted so quickly is also because he was using impasto. He laid really thick layers on the canvas, so he didn't have to wait for it to dry before he did another layer. They were just compiled together one by one. So in Van Gogh's painting, mostly they are really thick. There was a particularly moving part of the story, which is that when Van Gogh was in asylum, he was in a building, he could not go out, but he see this beautiful wheat field that he wanted to paint. He essentially has this photoshop in his mind that he removed all the fences around the building. He only focused on the wheat field and painted on the canvas. He put his favorite colors there to make it. For example, we always see the sky as blue color, but Van Gogh can make it green or pink according to his mood and his preference. That has inspired me a lot. Van Gogh used a lot of complementary colors. For example, in this famous painting, The Yellow House, the blue and orange are complementary to each other that makes the rooftop stand out from the sky. In this painting, yellow and purple are complementary to each other. Just like here, the purple grapes are more outstanding in front of the yellow background. In other paintings, Van Gogh also used monochromatic colors to create a sense of harmony. The yellow color here is associated with happiness, joyfulness, and summer vibes. I would call him a master of manifestation. <laughs> because he has so much trust in himself, he sticks to his passion to create his own reality through imagination. He was not disturbed by the reality at all. He once said, I have nature, art, and poetry. And if that's not enough, what is enough? In fact, he gave me a really big motivation and inspiration to pursue my dream and keep on doing what I like. If I am worth anything later, I'm worth something now. For wheat is wheat, even if people think it's a grass in the beginning. Great things are not done by impulse, but by a series of small things brought together. This is the most important message that I got from him. So this is the end of the video, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one, bye!